I think it's important for us to continue supporting refugees. We are welcoming strangers in our midst, and that's what we're called to do. My name is Linda Anderson, and my husband Gary and our two children, Catherine and Christopher, joined Starmount in 1986. I was an English second language instructor at the community college. In October of 1992, one of my students came in to class with a copy of this newspaper. It's the Nam Pen Post from Cambodia. All he said when he handed it to me was, teacher, please read this. It was about a group of Montagnards from the Central Highlands of Vietnam who um, had fought with the Americans. They needed to get out of Cambodia. I prayed about it and I went to our pastor at that time and I said, you know, I think we ought to do this. So there was a whole group of people who worked together to uh, furnish an apartment, to buy food, to volunteer, to transport people, uh, and the church was quite active. Up until today, we have resettled 100 102 individuals. I think it's important for us to continue supporting refugees. It, it reinforces the fact that we are welcoming strangers in our midst, and that's what we're called to do. Hi, my name is Kathy Coons. And I was a member of Star Mount Presbyterian Church for about a decade. And when I joined, I brought the uh, project that I did in the Congo with me. They suggested that I contact Salem Presbytery and the Hunger Committee that collects the pennies for hunger. I did, they accepted the program that I suggested for egg farming in the Congo. And all the pennies that have been collected over those 10 years have gone to help support that project in addition to other domestic and international projects. We decided to go with eggs because an egg is an affordable and very potent protein, very good for the nourishment of people who have perhaps one meal a day. Each farm is self-sustaining. We started one farm with a hundred chickens. These farms have been very successful and are run by parishes of the Presbyterian Church. Penny's funds are restricted and can be only used for certain uses. So when there was a need for an incubator so that we wouldn't have to order chicks from Brussels or from Zambia, Starmount came through providing an incubator and a solar array that powers that incubator because in that area, there is no electricity. They've also provided a very welcome gift to the Congolese. They purchased a truck. This used truck has been a godsend to the people. Next year, we have started a pilot program. There are five centers and the truck will be able to transport all of that food instead of it having to go on the back of bicycles. This pilot program will bring one egg a day to children enrolled in a nutrition program. These pennies are making a difference in the world. These people are very grateful. They are very thankful. And they thank our Lord every day for the gift these pennies have brought to them. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their possessions and goods and distribute the proceeds to all as any had need. Day by day, as they spent much time together in the temple, they, they broke, broke bread at and home and, and ate, ate their, their food, food with, with glad and, and generous hearts. hearts.